What's good, you guys? It's your boy Jay Freshman back with part two. If you haven't seen the tutorial of me using Kyle B Salute, check that one out first of how I made it. And now I'm about to show you guys how I'm gonna mix it. So, first thing first, highlight everything. Control, Shift, and L. The first thing I like to do is start off with leveling. And I usually go to my kicks because that's the focal point that I want to hit the most. Everything should be prioritized when it comes to mixing. So usually I like to have my kicks hit around 9 dB. You don't have to get like caught up in the numbers. I only do 9 dB because it's like, that's like the threshold of where I feel gives me enough headroom at the end where it goes to the master. Your master should hit around like negative six or negative three. But honestly, I would say negative six. You just really want a lot of headroom, especially if you're gonna put vocals and if you're gonna do mastering. Just leave yourself some space. So don't you don't have to get caught up in the numbers. Just understand that concept of leaving yourself space. So then I like to have my snare hit along with the kick. So I'm gonna turn it up from here. And you could like use your eyes too. Like you could see with the DB. Even though a lot of people is gonna tell you, oh, you can't um really go by the DB. In a sense, you can. Like first go by the DB to bring it close and then find like this is gonna be like the hot um hot spots, literally right here. And then you just kind of keep going on and off. So you could you could tell right here is low. So you can already tell like that was the pocket between that range. So that's what I like to do. If I can't really hear it, I would just usually bring it close DB wise and then just find that like hot spot right there. And then going on to the hi-hats. I'll turn up the hi-hats a bit more right here just to give me more room. spot is like somewhere around here bringing the 808 usually the 808 and the hi-hats kind of be at the same point at least when I'm making my beats sometimes the hi-hat could be lower but I never really see like the hi-hat be extremely over the 808 So you can hear this clap. So understand, like, you don't want to have your clap and the snare hit at that same point because this is this two sounds is going to really turn into one sound since it is layered. So what I like to do is route to this track only. I'm going to name it snare and clap. You see, with both of them hitting, it's gonna hit that high. That's why you wanna be careful. So I'm gonna bring it close to the kick. So you can either bring this down or I could lower the clap. But then you don't want to go too low because then it's like it is not going to make sense because you're trying to layer the sound. You're not trying to lower your clap too low because then it's not really a layer. So find the hot spot first. Obviously, that's too high. I like I like that spot. Then I could turn it down from here. spot again I can even turn on the snare it's all about finding like the texture that you like so I kind of like how that texture is with the snare a bit louder than the clap so I'm gonna just mess around with the main snare and clap just 
just leave it right there. Add in the piano. Find a hot spot again. And you can always look like usually your melodies and everything will kind of be lower than your 808 or at the same point. As you can see, it's lower. So then I can mess with the hot spot is usually like right here. This is really a good tip for beginners because it's like you're, if you're just starting off, you're not going to really be noticing like the dB difference like that. So you want to use your ears and then you find a hot spot. I mean, you want to use your eyes, then you find a hot spot. Right there, you already hear like, you could just really hear everything, but you could hear there's a lot of mud at the same time. So now we're really about to get into, you know, EQing. <laughs> 